Okay, so today we're going to talk about factoring, and we are going to kind of put everything together that we have learned this week. So the first step is you are going to take your first term right here and put it in the lower left box. Then you're going to take your last term and put it in the top right box. And then lastly, your middle term right here will go in the X shape in the bottom. Then to get what goes in the top up here, you take your first term times your last term. And in this case, that's going to give me 5X squared. So now what I'm going to do is find the multiples of 5x squared, which in this case, there's only two numbers that multiply together to equal 5, and that is 1 and 5. So I can use 1x and 5x. So I'm going to plug those in up here into that x shape. So now we are done with the X shape and we are actually going to move those multiples over to our box over here. And it does not matter where you choose to place them. You can do it anywhere um, in any of the spaces. It does not matter. So just keep that in mind. So now we are going to look at our bottom term right here and that's where we're always going to kind of start so luckily there are only two things that multiply together to give me x squared and that is x and x so that is going to go right there now looking at this bottom x the one that I'm highlighting around right now It is going to work with that whole column that I highlighted. So that means it's being multiplied into the x squared, which we can see. And it's also being multiplied into the 5x. So right now, we only have the x piece. We are missing the number piece up here that we need. So all we have to do is figure out what times x is going to give me 5x. And in this case... That is 5. Okay, we are going to do the same thing with the x on the side, but it is going to work with this row. So all I have to do now is figure out what times x is going to give me x. And in this case, it is going to be 1. So my answer is going to be x plus 5, which I get from right here, times x plus 1, which comes from right here. So let's do another one. So here I have x squared minus 8x plus 15. So I put my x squared in the bottom left, put 15 in the top right, and I go ahead and throw 8x in the bottom square. Okay, so you're always going to follow that exact same pattern. It is never going to change. So then I'm going to have x squared times 15 up here at the top, which is going to give me 15x squared. So now I'm going to list some multiples of 15x squared. So I could have x and 15x. I could have x or negative x and negative 15x. I could have 3x and negative, not negative, sorry, and 5x. And then I could also have negative 3x and negative 5x. So now I have to figure out which set of these adds up to negative 8x. So x plus 15x is going to give me 16. 
which is not right. Negative x plus negative 15x gives me negative 16x. 3x plus 5x gives me positive 8x. So we're close. So we've got the wrong sign. And then negative 3x plus negative 5x will give me negative 8x squared. So we are going to plug those in over here. And then we will also plug them in to our remaining two sections over here. So now we know that x times x is equal to x squared. We're going to look at this first one right here. And I'm going to see that x has to change to negative 5x. So in order to do that, I multiply by negative 5. So that's going to go right here. And then we're going to follow the same steps with this x on the side. So I'm going to see that x changes to negative 3x, and it does that by being multiplied by negative 3. So my answer is going to be x minus 5 times x minus 3. So now we are going to work one out where our first term has a coefficient on it. So I'm going to put that in this box down here. I'm going to have 2x squared because that's my first term. I'm going to put my last term in the top right box and my middle term in the bottom of the x shape down here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take negative 5 times 2x squared and that is going to give me negative 10x squared. And now I'm going to list multiples of negative 10x squared. So I could have negative x times 10x. I could have x times negative 10x, 3x. Oh, whoa, not 3x, sorry. 2x and negative 5x. And then I could also have negative 2x and positive 5x. So in this case, only one set is going to add up to positive 3, and it is my bottom set right here. So I'm going to plug those in. And then I'm going to also plug them into my rectangle over here. And we have an extra step here. So I now have to find all the multiples of 2 x squared, which is pretty easy because there's only two, and that is x and 2x. So what I have to do now is decide, should the 2x go on the side or should it go on the bottom? So we are going to look at the two pieces or the two sections that we use. So I know that the 2x has to work with both numbers in the row or the column. So looking at the row right here, 2x would multiply nicely into 2x squared, but it would not multiply evenly into 5x. So that means that the 2x has to go on the bottom and the x will go on the side. So from here, 2x times negative 1 is going to equal negative 2x, and x times 5 is going to equal 5x. So I have x minus 1 times 2x plus 5. Okay, we're going to do one more like this. So I'm going to start by putting my first term in the bottom left, 
last term in the top right, and middle term in the bottom down here. So up here I'm going to have 3x squared times 4. That gives me 12x squared. I'm going to find the multiples of 12x squared. And that is going to be x and 12x, 2x and 6x, or 3x and 4x. And the one that will add up to 13 is my first set right here. So that is going to be x and 12x. So I'm also going to go ahead and plug those in to my table over here. So we are going to be working with this column and this row. And so I know, oh, hold on. Well, first I have to find the multiples of 3x squared, which are x and 3x. So now I can work with that column in the row. So looking at this column, my 3x would go nicely into 3x squared, but it would not go nicely into 1x. Looking at the row, the 3x we know would go nicely into 3x squared, and it would also go nicely into 12x. So I'm going to put my 3x right here and my 1x right here. We know that x times 1 will give me x, and then 3x times 4 will give me 12x. So my answer is 3x plus 1 times x plus 4.